my contractor hubby and me, my parents, a house plan, and a lake lot equals mom's lake house. Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you an update on Mom's Lake House and show you the gorgeous doors we got for the project. Welcome back to my channel again. It has been pretty much three months since I've given you guys an update on Mom's Lake House project. If you've ever built a home before or done a huge renovation, you will know that these always take a lot longer than you've planned. And uh, there's been so many decisions to go into this place. It is a custom home, so things take a little bit longer than um, maybe just a regular builder grade home would take. However, today I wanted to show you an updated tour of the home, show you the color of siding that we picked for the home, plus the most important part today are some gorgeous doors that we picked for this home. I want to show you the exterior doors and the interior doors. We were so lucky to be able to work with Masonite on these and they are so, so pretty and I can't wait to share them with you. Let's get started. In case you missed it, here's how Mom's Lake House looked in April of this year. We had just got the roof on at this point. And here it is now, it is July 2017, and we have the exterior almost finished um, with the siding and the trim. And we decided to go with a slightly darker color called clay, just so that it provided a little bit of contrast between all of the white trim and the siding. And I think it just looks so classic, so beautiful. And then there's some kind of some matching tone on tone faux shakes on the top of the peaks of the home as well so there is quite a bit of character and when you come in around the garage here there's this adorable little dormer on top of the front door and this front door I think is just so absolutely gorgeous it totally sets the tone for this home as you approach it it definitely has that craftsman vibe to it and I think it's just an absolutely gorgeous door this is from Masonite and I'll leave a link to this door in the description box below and I just love the dental shelf detailing on it and the lights in the windows and it just is just so stunning and I think it really sets the feel for this home as you walk inside. If you need help finding your own door for your own home, you can check out the Masonite style quiz. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below as well. And that really helps you pick out the style that you want for your home. Doors are really important. They really set the stage for the style of your home. So just to determine the style that you want for your door is definitely important. And then you can choose which door you want depending on your budget. And you can check out the Masonite site for that as well. As you enter the home, here's what it looks like now inside. Not too much has changed since I last showed you guys in the spring. There are some windows in the home now and they have kind of that craftsman detail to them. Here is the door from the inside of the home. And the entry is going to be nice and large and um, two stories tall. So that's going to really give lots of light into the entire home here. Here is a fireplace that's been installed. It'll be a gas fireplace and it has the two transom windows on either side. So this is the living room in kind of this open concept main floor. And just look at that lake view. I love how this lake looks in summer. It's so beautiful. I have to show you this door as well. This is also from Masonite. It's the Vista Grande door. We have some interior grills in here to give it kind of that cottage, traditional sort of craftsman feel as well. And it is an extra tall door. It is so beautiful in these nine foot ceilings. And I think, again, this really sets the stage for the interior and the exterior of the home. This one here is going to go upstairs. The really amazing thing about this home is that there's three levels of balconies essentially. So there's a walkout basement, a main floor balcony, as well as one upstairs off of the main bedroom. Here is the back door from Masonite as well. It just has a really simple craftsman lines to it. This door is going to be going in and out of the garage. And again, it just has the same feel as the other doors to keep that consistency in the home.
and I'll just give you a little tour of the upstairs. Again, nothing too much has changed here. There's a little more framing done since spring. That's going to be two bedrooms above the garage, which I'm sure my kids are going to stay here a lot at Grandma and Grandpa's cottage. So I think it'll be fun to do some sort of little bunk system or something for them in here. And then as you turn around, this will be the laundry room here. And then over here is going to be the master bathroom and the walk-in closet. And then another of my favorite parts of the home, which is the master bedroom here. I just love the windows overlooking the lake, as well as this beautiful vaulted ceiling. And I think we're gonna try to do some really cool treatment on the ceiling here. And that's the bathroom there with the walk-in closet. And then right here is the balcony that comes off of the master bedroom. Again, gorgeous lake view. And this is the balcony. It's another Vista Grande door here, so lots of light, just a gorgeous style door. And the balcony, which is almost complete. I think this will be a really fantastic place to come out in the morning and have coffee overlooking the lake. And that is the upper floor. And look at the back of this home. I think this really is the best part of the home because it's overlooking the lake. You have those three outdoor areas. And here is the view behind the home here. The lake is over there and there's this gorgeous green space between mom's lake house and the lake. Thanks so much for watching my video today. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of a mom's lake house is this time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.